morning you guys, you join us in the UK and today we are doing another experience video, this time on the Ford Mustang 5 litre convertible. These cars are absolutely stunning, they've only been available to the UK market in Europe for not that long. So it's fun to be able to look around it and see what is now on the cards because going to America I've always seen a bunch of these cars driving around and now they're actually available here. So this is the 5 litre V8 version of the car. We'll walk you through all of the performance stats when we get to the engine later on. But this is about a £45,000 car. Now with no options, base price it's £43,000. Now this one has £2,000 therefore worth of options. Two main options the ruby red color which is about 595 pounds and then for about uh, 1,700 pounds we've got the custom pack which gives you things like parking sensors and uh, the, the rims that this car's got and a bunch of things but what's really impressive is for the price it actually comes with a lot of uh, stock options so if we walk around the car obviously the paint is beautiful there's a different grille with the V8 you've got these vertical struts here compared to the V6 because this car is also available in a cheaper V6 EcoBoost version um, you've then got this is all plastic so it's not carbon fiber any of this stuff but you've got a front splitter here it's really not that low so perfect for daily use you've got more plastic with your fog lights and then these awesome looking led lights which carry over the sort of mustang look um, on the v8 you've also got this awesome sort of double bubble design on the front hood which is very cool now you get these rims around front these 19 inch rims which are absolutely stunning looking in this car i actually think they would look cooler in black with this spec yeah. but anyways you then get brembo brakes as standard the performance brakes which you get when you get the five liter v8 version little five liter badge standard as well um which comes when you get this this uh this engine type and reminds you that you're in the big boy car mm. um around the side you've got more plastic on the side sills here again it's slightly cheap feeling plastic but i mean forty five thousand pounds what do you expect? You've got more on the rims around the back. And then on this one, we've got the translucent white lights, um, which I think look really, really nice. Dual exhaust tips on the back as well. And this car sounds amazing. We'll show you that in a little bit. Now to open the boot, it's on the key. You double press, so you have your unlock, lock, and then your boot button. So you double press that, and the boot opens. It's actually a really generously sized boot in this car. It's an American sized booty. Um, but uh, it is actually really, really good. And the good thing about this is when you put the roof down, which we'll show you after, is, yeah, down here you've got your spare tire uh, space and all of that. When you put the roof down, it actually doesn't take any boot space up, which is really practical for convertibles, because often with these four-seater convertibles, once you've got the roof down, you've basically got no more boot space. Uh, what we should do now, though, is actually show you the engine. Now, because this is a right-hand drive car, because of the UK market, uh, the actual engine hood releases still in the left side of the car, which is often the case with English cars. So you just pull this thing here, and then we go around front, and we'll be able to see the beast which powers this car. Now, then, this took me a while the first time we did it to get this open. There we go. It's actually not hydraulic, so you need to put this little strut up um, to be able to hold it up whilst you're looking at your beautiful 5 litre naturally aspirated V8 which has 416 PS and propels this car to 155 miles an hour which is actually a limited top speed. Now I asked about the 0-60 and looked on all the spec sheets but it's actually to be confirmed so we don't know what the 0-60 is yet on this car but I imagine it is pretty quick. And, uh, this car is basically a brutal back to the old school muscle car kind of vibe. Um, so you can have your family with you, you can have that Mustang heritage, and you can still have the big naturally aspirated V8, which sounds absolutely awesome. Now then, where these cars used to not do so well was on interior comfort. Now, what we should do is go inside and see if with these new ones, there's been an improvement. So, if I unlock the car, you unlock on that side. First of all, when you jump in, you can see that in this one with the custom pack, you've got all of the leather. Um, really nice leather. I mean, it's a, it's slightly American feeling leather. It's not like what you get in a Porsche or in a Mercedes, but then those are in a different price range. So if we hop in, you're greeted with a sort of retro modern look. Um, you've got the Mustang logo in the middle, leather steering wheel, um, which is actually very nice. Now, this particular car is an auto. You can also get a manual, and interestingly, the manual car is the only one which has launch control. Um, so this car does not have launch control, but you do have different modes. You have wet, snow, uh, normal, 
and you have sport and track. So you can go through all the different modes, which is very, very cool. Now let's walk you through the full uh, instrument cluster area. So you've got here, you've got your revs, and actually you can decide on the different colors you want these to light up in. Oh, cheeky startup. <laughs> so you can hear the V8, but yeah, those are the revs right there. And then you've got a little screen in the middle, which will give you a bunch of information, which you can flip through using the buttons on the steering wheel. So if I press OK, you can then get all your trip, computer information, your speed in a digital format, you can get your fuel history, you can get all sorts of different info on there, which is pretty interesting. And actually the buttons feel quite solid when you press them in good quality. On the other side of the steering wheel, you've then got all of your music um, buttons. So you've got your volume, next track, all of that stuff. And this car has actually come with the optional shaker sound system with the custom pack, which uh, sounds absolutely unbelievable. We've then got our speedo here, um, which gives you both in kilometers an hour and miles an hour, which is really practical to have. Then it's got voice command, uh, Bluetooth phone, so you can control all of that through here. And then you've got all of your cruise control settings as well. So that's the steering wheel area. You then got your paddles for your auto box on the back, which actually I have to say feel quite plasticky. Uh, you would hope that these would be metal, but not much you can do about it. It is a fairly, you know, it's not cheap at all by any means. 45,000 pounds is expensive, but for a V8 with over 400 brake, it's doing pretty well price wise. Um, we then got plastic all over the side here with a bit of leather thrown in there But some of the plastics do feel pretty cheap like down here. You've got all of your window controls your lock and unlock a Slightly plastic feeling door handle as well um, Which is this whole area could do with some improving. I mean see up here all of these plastic. This is nice here It's leather you can just hear the difference but up here you're hitting on some plastic uh, Territory now then if we get to the center console. We've got a big little cubby here where you can plug your phone in. There's a USB adapter as well as a 12 volt charger and a nice big space to put some stuff. Two big American style Starbucks cup holders, uh, which are perfect, perfectly placed as well. Um, the only problem is if you're changing gear, you might knock them over. Mm -hmm. You've then got your manual handbrake as well. It's not electric on this car. Your gear selector where you can go obviously to sport mode as well for your gearbox. And then this is where stuff gets a bit interesting. You got down here these very cool fighter jet style buttons where you can flick through the different modes so right now we'd be for example in normal mode and it pops up here if you show in the little screen normal mode sport plus racetrack and then you've got snow and wet so we'll leave it in normal for now um, but that's very cool and very very easy to use very easy to access we then have a steering feel control button again pops up here so you get your different steering feel controls which is very cool so you can go from normal sport and then comfort as well so comfort will be lighter sport will be slightly more weighted and normal will be a compromise between all of those this is your traction off which you just put up um, and hold up and your traction goes off so traction back on your hazard lights engine start stop another 12 volt charger down there all of your uh, climate controls are here and then up here you get all of your radio so volume you can flick through all the different radio stations and this is the on off sort of switch this is also a uh, touch tactile screen. touch screen um, which you can use for your sat nav and all of your different things so climate audio and it's actually a really nice touch screen it's very communicative and uh, just really nice and very clear then got all of your little air vents here which again go back to that retro look like in old Mustangs which is also complemented here with your little plaque which says since 1964. Now then the roof. How does the roof work? Well it's automatic but you do have to unlock it so up here you turn this unlock the roof and then you just press this button right here and it actually all happens pretty quickly all the windows go down and the roof goes down in really not much time at all. If you're looking at four series convertibles and stuff, they take a lot more time. So that goes all the way down. There we go. So there we go, there we goes. All the way down and it actually just sits above the boot so it doesn't take up any space in the boot, which is really convenient. And then it also allows you to see the rear seats. It does have rear seats, this car, but if you're tall like Ao, as you can see, <laughs> you're gonna need to have some pretty small legs. But in my driving position, which we're in now, you could easily fit an adult behind you. So yeah, it's pretty good. Now I think what we should do is probably whack this into sport mode and give you a few revs so you can hear the V8. Let me know when you're ready. I am ready. Sounds pretty good, right? 
Yeah. And you've got the little burbles when you lift off. You do, yeah. And you've just got that sort of American sound. So that's this car. Now, unfortunately, in these experience videos, we're not always going to be able to drive the car. So in this case, you have to be 28 years old to drive this on UK insurance. I'm not going to be able to drive it. However, we're going to get a driver to take us out so we can at least experience it with you guys and see what it's all about. Now then, one other thing I think would be cool to do is there is a Shelby GT350 over there. So after hearing this car, maybe just quickly we can tease, because we're not allowed to take that car out because it's not street legal because of the tires, we can tease the sound of that compared to this. We've upgraded very briefly to the GT350 just so you guys can hear it. So I'm just going to switch it on and give it a few revs and you guys can compare what you think between the 5 litre and this. Oh. Oh. I did, this. I did. Yeah, that went off. Off, and then... <laughs> sounds good. Sounds like a Coca-Cola can. Yeah, and then it goes back on. Oh. <laughs> what an animal. A little what more. An a little more. Whoa. That is insane. Anyways, back to the five liter. sounding stock car I have ever heard um, but obviously I can't tell you too much about the way this car feels all the different steering modes and stuff like that because I'm not driving it but just from an experience of being inside of it it does feel nice I mean obviously it being for example compared to the c63 which costs about double the money um, you do feel that in terms of the materials used inside and and a few things here and there but it really really does not feel like it would be half the money it feels like yeah Maybe the materials aren't quite as nice, but you've got the noise, which is very similar to that of the C63. You've got all the practicality, and you've got somewhat of a similar performance as well with the with the 416 PS this thing's putting out. So very, very impressive. Great to be able to finally experience one of these because I've seen so many on the road, uh, and I've wanted to sort of be able to experience them. And it's fascinating to be able to now see this American concept brought to the European market. And I'm sure it'll, it'll do well because it's a winning recipe. It's uh, accessible to more people than a lot of cars that use this recipe. So yeah, I think uh, I think it's a brilliant car. I really enjoyed looking around it. I hope you've enjoyed the experience video and we're gonna finish it 
back at the hotel. Well, that's the Mustang 5 litre GT for you, convertible auto. Unfortunately, you couldn't drive it, as I said, but the, some of these experience videos, I just want to bring you guys along so you can experience them as I do by sitting in the passenger seat. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be doing more of these in the very near future. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, cheers. See you soon. Oh, bye bye. Hey, Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet.